Hi everyone, this is Heather Mahalik Barnhart with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to do a follow-up on the sextortion investigations that I started talking about in the last Tip Tuesday. Now we want to take a look at the suspect phone. When you're starting with the suspect phone, you have information that was provided to you potentially by a victim or a witness of the investigation. So what I recommend is that you start searching, even just doing a logical project search, for those victims' names and see where it leads you. You should be trying to dive in specifically to the methods of communication or any files that are saved for this individual. In addition, just like I said in the previous Tip Tuesday, if you go into the file system and you go all the way to the top and you click on the file dump, you can actually do a hex search on any of the victims' names and user account names that are of interest. A hex search will dive deeper than the surface of regular keyword searching. And you may find that you get some nonsensical data, but you may also find that you get things that are extremely relevant to your investigation. Um, again, if something is highlighted, it means you can simply hop to it because it's parsed by PA Ultra. If you go into your folder view, make sure you are searching for folders with information from the victim. So if there are applications, maybe there are the victim is aware of folders that are named for them where images or videos were stored. All of this stuff can really help you dive into your investigation. So again, victim versus suspect, it's easier in the suspect device if you have a clue. We'll be covering more of this in our new Uplift series that's coming your way shortly. We hope you like this Tip Tuesday. Want more? Subscribe.